This right here is the McLaren Solus GT. I want to show you guys because this car will be limited to just 25 units and they're not even disclosing the price. What's up guys, we're at the Quail, the most notorious car event in the entire world. A ticket here costs about $1,000, but I'm going to show you the best cars completely for free. Before that, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, let's go take a look. All right, this right here is the Bugatti Mistral, also revealed today. This is a pure roadster, it doesn't even have a roof, like it doesn't even come with it. You're getting closer, you got my favorite part. You have this signature Bugatti shape, you know, right there. But this time it actually wraps around in a 3D kind of, in a 3D kind of way. So it goes to the other side too. See how this curves all the way like that. Over on the inside, if you take a look at the gear selector, you'll see that the inside has this kind of amber with a sculpture of an elephant. Now, if you wanna find out why, Alex will explain that in the full review. Also, when you go to the back, this is gonna be the final row legal W16 before the Remac era. So this is still the 1,600 horsepower W16. And you have the X, the big X on the back of the Bugatti with the taillights. But what I like as well is that the letters are elongated inwards and they also light up. Pretty badass if you ask me. All right, this right here is the Hispano Suiza. Everything is completely carbon fiber. And if you come to the side, to open the door, all I gotta do is press this button right there and it'll automatically open. Hispano Suiza literally means Spanish and Swiss because one founder was Spanish, the other one was Swiss. Everything is completely handmade and hand stitched. Only 24 of these will ever be made and it costs about $2 million. To close this back up, all I gotta do is press this button. It'll automatically close, but most interestingly, it's got soft closing doors. Over on the back, you got some boot space. This car is fully electric and has 1,114 horsepower. You can get your hands on it if you have $2 million. All right, this right here is the Zinger 21C VMAX revealed today at Quail. And this thing looks insane when you see it. If you're getting closer, you'll see the cockpit has inline seating. So it can sit two people, but the passenger goes behind the driver, which is wild. And that right there, if you take a look at that casing, that was actually designed part by human, but also with AI. And what they've done is they've kept that hollow. They've tried to replicate nature to reduce weight and just kind of make a more efficient design. So to open this, I still got to find it. One second, it's somewhere in there. There it is. All right, look at this door. Oh yeah. That is sick. Take a look at the inside. So there it is, it's a, it just looks like a fighter jet. I mean, you have the steering wheel in that kind of yolk shape. Here it is, VMAX, designed and made in California. And take a look at the back. I'm gonna open this up for you too. So this thing is a twin turbo V8. And what's crazy is that even though it's a hypercar, it actually has, wait for it, soft closing doors. Take a look at the wheels. You have this plate right there to reduce drag, increase airflow, and you have center locking wheels as well. All right, another car that was unveiled today is the Lamborghini Urus Performante. It's lighter, it's wider, and it's lower to the ground. So if you come up to the front, take a look at the hood. They've added a lot more carbon fiber, make the car a lot lighter. Here you have some vents, let go of some of that hot air. And also nice touch at the front is this fin right there next to the intakes. That looks amazing. Carbon fiber front splitter, but let's go over to the side. More carbon fiber details. Walk inside. First look at the Urus Performante. Man, you guys are seeing this before everyone. This just came out. So on the seats, you have Performante stitched on. Everything is decked out in leather. There's a steering wheel, red racing strip at the top. Carbon fiber details everywhere. If you take a look at this, all of this is carbon fiber. I mean, all of that at the gauge cluster going to the AC vents, a lot more carbon fiber. This thing's gonna have 660 horsepower mixed with the lighter body. It's gonna go much faster. All right, and this right here is a big ass Batmobile as well. Not like all the other cars that we've seen, but this is still, it's called Last 
Bastioni from 1961. And look, we normally don't do older cars, but this looks pretty freaking sick. Look at the size of this thing, man. This thing is huge. So what I like is if you come in closer, you will see that you have a bunch of different sound effects put on there. Bang, clunk, ouch, oops, oh shit, wham. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know, pretty epic. You have the bat, you have the Batmobile, you have the Batman kind of logo on the engine. You have the Batmo, you have the Batman logo right there as well. You have just kind of shout outs to Batman all around the car. And here you have a huge bicycle style chain. I mean, this, this is just bizarre. This is a pretty crazy car, La Bestioni. The entire thing, it looks like it has wings going on as well. More on the back. This is a car I wasn't expecting to see at the show, but it is pretty freaking sick. Look at the look at the rear view mirror. Back here is where the car ends. Oh yeah, that is definitely a Batmobile. Send on your other side. Sure. All right, so come in. So this is the Lincoln L100 to celebrate the 100th year anniversary of Lincoln. Right here at the front, you have their first ever logo made of crystal. And everything here is just a huge glass panel. They have like a grand piano string type looking shape at the front. And look at the size of these doors. I mean, these are just gigantuous. The entire roof comes off completely. Another huge glass panel. And take a look at this inside. So this piece right here actually lifts forward. And then when you're standing on the floor, you'll see that everything kind of, it's a bit digital, like things start moving. It feels a little bit like, like it's coming to life. This right here is the joystick to move the vehicle. So when this comes up, you can actually place that into a slot and then you can drive it. Like when a kid plays a video game, that is super, super, super cool. Put that back in there. And that right there is the Lincoln L100. What do you guys think? So this one right here is the Zinger Hyper GT, and it's a full-blown concept that was revealed today. The doors don't even open, but I'm gonna show you around a little bit. At the front, you have these pretty cool, like, ribbed lights. Pretty nice. This is actually gonna be a four-seater Hyper GT car. There's still no confirmation on the horsepower or any of that, but it is gonna be a hybrid. So when you take a look at the wheels, these are 3D printed and they're hollow on the inside to reduce weight. I think that's pretty cool. They look pretty elaborate. Also, there's center locking wheels, which is interesting. We're seeing a lot of cars today uh, with center locking wheels. I think it's becoming more common. At what point are center locking wheels necessary for like daily drives? I'm not sure. Anyways, you have side view cameras. We, all, we always love side view cameras. And then interestingly, you have this like kind of floating panel you see that? Oh, wait, I don't even want to move that, but it's just floating. I'm not sure it contributes much to aerodynamics, but it does look pretty cool. Then you have this elongated back. This right here is the McLaren Solus GT. I want to show you guys because this car will be limited to just 25 units and they're not even disclosing the price. So that's the cockpit right there. And what happens is this door doesn't open right now as the prototype, but this entire cockpit roof will lift up and slide forward. That's how you get in, which is pretty badass. I wish that we could open it up right here, but obviously they don't want too many people playing around with that. So when you take a look at the side, this reminds me of the Valkyrie when we were driving it. Right there, you can just see right through the front of the car. From the side, it's completely hollow on the inside. Then you have this enormous tail going on at the back. This thing is gonna have 830 horsepower and it weighs less than 1,000 kilos. And this is probably the best looking McLaren I have ever seen, but it won't be road legal. It's just for the track. What is that? I didn't even have this one on my radar. Blue and white Bentley. You know what this is? Bentley Bacala, man. Let you just see this. Oh, there it is, Bacalar. Damn. What do you guys think? It's limited production as well. Take a look at those taillights. It's crazy at events like these, like you know you're gonna see some crazy cars and then suddenly you just have one that you didn't even know was gonna be there. Wow, wow, wow. Orange with the blue stitching. And take a look behind, you have that like kind of hollow back. Look, you can see right through it. That's crazy, man. This car looks amazing. This car looks freaking crazy, man. Yeah, look. 
Síguelo, síguelo. That's the craziest cars of quail. So let me know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite? Which one did I miss? Let me know. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.